morning, James. It's Wednesday. It's also Mixtape Monday. Is it also Question Tuesday? We'll get back to that. Watch this space. It's also a theme week. Every single meta thing about take your socks off and run kind of pouring in. But before I get into all of that, um, I just want to say... <laughs> Your punishment yesterday was amazing. Uh, may I suggest, um, so you don't have to drink blenderized pasties anymore, um, to kind of um, have a fake James. Deal with that thing that's more important, i.e. you getting stuck in London. I really, oh god, I, I feel so bad. Part of me thinks that you wanted to eat that blenderized pasty. Mm. But yeah, so today's theme week is people that we admire. And I really love Paul McCartney to the extent that Belle bought me this book just off the cuff because I loved him so much. It's like, um, oh god, you bought me this book. Uh, you know, I just thought you were thinking about Paul McCartney instead of me, bitch. Oh, okay then. But James, do you know somebody else who really loves Paul McCartney? Apart from really old rock critics and, like, girls from the 1960s. A hundred points if you said Daniel Johnston. Beginning of the potted history of Daniel Johnston, yeah! Daniel Johnson was born in 1960 to evangelical parents. He went to art school and fell in love with Laurie. Got kicked out of his house and uh, went to live with his brother in near Astro World. I recorded his seminal album Hi How Are You slash Yep Junk Music in his brother's garage. Uh, got kicked out of there. Went missing but turned up on MTV. Went slightly mental afterwards, like with God and Jesus and demons and devils and things. And got put in a mental hospital, got taken out of a mental hospital, um, went slightly more mental, recorded more music, uh, gave gave all of his tapes to like pretty girls in like the 80s. Those pretty girls gave him to record labels and then um, all those record labels like dropped everything and were, were, and were amazed. Or, or so the story was told. He went to New York with a band called Sonic. Youth went really mental slash missing. And then Kurt Cobain started wearing his t-shirt everywhere, a t-shirt which I sadly lost. This Kurt Cobain fella was a pretty big deal, and, so and soon people wanted to find out the origin of the t-shirt of the, of the that he is wearing like all of the time. Daniel Johnson, like the guy behind the t-shirt, became incredibly popular, even though he was in a mental hospital being treated and on shit loads of drugs. And thankfully, the happy ever ending is um, he can like tour internationally now without going completely mental, and, and, is, and, and, and is now living a relatively stable life. Um, and I'm going See him on Saturday, on or a Sunday. James, I'm so bad at days. Yeah. But James, I imagine you've already Googled um, Daniel Johnson, singer, and and come up with something like this. <laughs> or this. Doo -doo -doo. She was a newlywed. Or this. And you're, and, and you're wondering why on earth, why on earth does anybody? like this. He can't sing, he can't play guitar, he can't do anything. But James, what I really love about this cool kind of cat is that he brings everything that I love about music into music. He's raw and has loads of feelings and sings about what he loves and yes, that is your picture behind me, James. And I don't know whether you've met many musicians, James, but they tend to be like really, really exact and not really like enthused about stuff. This is what I like to call musician at a concert, and this is what I like to call musician listening to Neutral Milk Hotel. But then this fine human being, Daniel Johnson, comes along, and um, with with all the skill and grace, of, <laughs> writes about ten or fifteen songs that move you to tears. So you think you found the one, and she knows. Just how you feel, he was smiling through his own personal hell. Dropped his last dime down a wishing well, but he was hoping to close. And then he fell, now he's Casper, the friendly ghost. Hoping like a mother would. Like and with that, James, I will see you on Saturday. Although tomorrow don't look that good.